Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 68. We spent a couple of days building this place. I spent a little bit of time working on stuff last night. Uh, one of the things I did do was I got my armor uh, pretty much done. Let's have a quick look at that. So we've got our power armor all installed now. Um, I was able to get everything up over 60, which is enough to get plenty of mods in here. I, don't, I, I mean, I could spend more time getting it up a little higher, but... I think we're probably fine. Our mobility is still pretty good here. 125%. So, I mean, I can't complain. We're like the, the power armor plus the glasses um, plus my my bonus is giving us 125% mobility. Then we got 10% more for the um, for the pork and shotgun or a shotgun and we got another 5% for the leather jacket. So we're run speed is like 140% which is going to be awesome when we take on the horde. Now, why is our radiation resistance not maxed? Oh, I know why. Because I put on... It was the boots, I think. No? Is it the helmet? Yeah, it was the helmet. I put something in the helmet. you got to take it off to put mods in and then put it back on or else you... Uh, it doesn't really register. So I got a couple things done. I got this wall completed here. What I want to do with the door. Now I'm going to get this filled in here real quick. Okay, so that's all filled in. Let's go inside here. I got to figure out what I'm doing with this. Out of cobble, eh? Uh, we got any clay on me? Yeah, let's get another thousand cobble going. Probably going to end up using it all. So what I got is, I, what I did make last night, if you notice in my inventory, is a sci-fi door. We're going to put that in here. I love these things. Uh, we're going to put it right here, though. So that's on the inside block. So we've got it kind of inset like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, i got a little thing here because we're going to put a light up there. Got a couple of zombies messing around downstairs. I'll worry about them later. Let's go grab a light. I think we do have some leftover lights. Do we? Or are they, are they, they're at the horde base, I think. All right, light, I think, is... Uh, if I can't remember what it is. I think it's electrical forged iron, which we have on us. And I don't think it's mechanical, but it might be. Is it here? Player lights. Yeah, we just need one. Get that crafting. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the traders today. This will probably be the I mean, one of the last times we head there. Uh... My goal was to try and fly out of here on a Huey. Don't know if that's still going to happen, but it's still kind of my goal. I still want to try and get to that if I can. So let's grab all of you. And then we'll put these guys back. Grab all of you. Put the cheap ass shit back here if I can. Uh... The truck can actually go in here for now because we're going to take the Marauder today. Um, question though. We had the uh, supercharger on this thing. Let's take that off. And of course the die. Can't go anywhere without the orange die. Uh, so let's leave some of that here. That can come down there. And what I want to do is I want to finish this off Probably in the next little bit. I'll probably do most of it off camera, but I'll at least show you kind of what I want to do here. So I'm going to fill this roof in, and we're going to have it accessible up there. There's be a door that comes out on the roof up here, and this will be an additional crafting roof above us. This is going to be the kitchen. I do have, before we go, oh, for, I got a bag down there because I killed a bunch of guys last night. Oh. Ah, yes, the days where you don't have to... Damn, I missed the... Worry about ammo anymore. Come on. Nice. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I got the... Uh, some bulletproof glass that I made last night. God, my speed is... Ridiculously fast. Now, it's... it's uh, a little bit much, I think, almost. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in here. Now we want to go uh, outside. No, that's right. We want to. 
to be on this face. Because these are half blocks that are in here right now. So like that. I made a few extra just in case we need them for later on, like for upstairs or whatever, but that works out great. Now we need the light. Let's grab that real quick. Oh, it's going to be so nice when this is all done. All right, now you, I think I, I think I want to use the red trouble light for out here. For right there. So shape this guy. And then we do advanced. Now, is that right against there? It is. All we have to do is power that up now. All right. So actually, before we go, let's just do that. I mean, we got lots of time. It's not like I'm in a in a hurry. Hordes are turned off currently. Okay, so uh, what did I want to grab? Oh yeah, we want to lay some power. Dur. So let's grab, we don't have any batteries. Grab one of you. Uh, wire tool, we have a wire tool. It's at the horde base, because of course it is. Do I have one here for sale? I don't think so. Uh, let's just scrap a few of these things. Wire tools. You know, when I need a wire tool, I can never get one. If I don't need one, I got it. I think it's just uh, forged steel, though. If I'm not mistaken. Steel and three mechanical parts. All right, there we go. So let's just put you down there for now. Just need a little bit of gas and then we need an engine which we've got lots of. Might as well add three. It's one powerful light down there so we actually have to have lots on. Um, let's get a switch too. Uh, should have switches. I'm going to put the switch downstairs for now. Uh, no, let's just leave it there. Now, um, let's just take these out. They got to go anyway, so... Kind of nice to get a little bit of light in here. Now, can I jump that? Probably not. Question is, though, if I go down there. Oh, okay, I'm still in range. We're going to get a circuit breaker going at some point, but just not yet. Interested to see how that looks. Really, the effect is for when we're back here, right? So when we come up the ladder at nighttime, yeah, it's gonna look kind of cool. How are we doing here? We got enough to buy a Huey once we sell all this stuff. Let's get the truck down. I can get rid of this thing now. God damn it. All right, Marauder. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any PPCs, but whatever. A pair of PPCs would be nice on this thing, but unfortunately. Wrong game. All right, let's get you in there and, oops, not like that. Uh, open. Uh, okay. That's kind of weird. Sure. Let's see how it handles. Like a brick, probably. Yep, 
it's slow. Wow, it's laggy as hell. I'm gonna be so glad when the series is over and my lag is gone. I really hope Un Undead Legacy isn't as bad. Like I, as much as I want to generate cities and stuff in big cities, when I do the uh, map generation, I'm gonna generate large towns so that there's lots of uh, stuff to do and the cities are gonna be small. Because that's gonna save on a massive amount of frame rate. Oh, hey buddy, did I leave your door open last time? All right, buy all my shit. All right, so not bad, he bought most of the stuff. So what are we at? Pretty good, 170 some odd thousand. So if anyone's gonna have a copter to get out of here, it's gonna be this guy probably. You got the MD500, 192 though. Ooh, that's a little bit of work to get that. I wanted the Huey. It's too bad we can't make them. Although I think I think Wrecked has got a crop duster. Maybe we fly out of here in a crop duster. That'd be hilarious. But at least if we buy the helicopter, we can create a landing pad. Uh, coin. I think we're going to sell steel. I got to buy that helicopter. So let's go back. Okay, before we head back to the house, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to grab a bit of iron. Alright, that's 18k. That should keep us just under the screamer. Yep. Oh yeah, I need to make asphalt. Damn it! Keep forgetting about stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be. This is going to be pretty sweet to come home to. So, if, in order to make sci-fi doors, you need the. Uh, oh fuck off! You need the workbench. Laser workbench. It's not very much. It's like one one energy cell, some steel, and. Or, sorry, titanium, and uh, I think it's electrical parts or something, so it's pretty cheap. Alright, so we've got enough to make some more steel. I'm going to grab the steel we do have. Um, okay, so we got, what, one, two, three, four stacks of steel. Yeah, this thing isn't too bad. I mean, it's about the same speed as the truck when I'm not lagging. But it's like... A little harder to control in the pickup. Well, I don't know, maybe it's about the same. A little, little easier to stop, I feel. What's up, buddy? God, a customer. I thought okay. you might be one of the dead. Eight grand per stack. There we go. We got enough to buy a copter. Ooh, we're able to fly out of here now. Now, it's not the one I wanted. There we go. No sell price. Well, there you go. We're broke. Broke as shiz, but we do have a copter. We need gas. So then we don't have. So I'm going to have to make a helipad we'll on top of the sometime. of our building, too. Which means we're going to have to take out the chicken coops, which I don't really care about. So let's go make a little bit of extra cash. Let's go down to Jen and see what she'll take. So this thing actually chews through terrain pretty well. I think if you were gonna, if you were planning on going, like, if you got a really rough map, planning going cross country, this is the one to take for sure. Uh, I don't even know where the hell I am here. I went off road to see how well it was doing. Oh, there's Jen's road right there. So yeah, I mean, it, I think this would go over most stuff that the pickup truck would get stuck in. I almost drove by, almost drove by our place here. Wait, where am I? I'm not even anywhere near a place. 
I might as well just eat up the last little bit of precious fuel I have. Excuse me. Wow, right off the wall. Yeah, this is not the vehicle you want to be using when driving through a city, though. Pardon me. Although it does kind of rip through fences and stuff. I am going around. Yeah, so when I said this thing eats fuel, it does. Like, it just really burns through fuel. It's something in a John's, uh, Jen's town right now. I just, I took apart two cars. I can get a little extra gas. I mean, I guess I could spend the entire day just ripping cars apart. But, uh... Don't feel like doing that. I don't even want to loot these things. So 900 is about 4% in gas. Alright, just got two more cars than a 1400, so we're at half a tank. It's not too bad. But I'll, I think I'll definitely take the pickup truck. Well, maybe not. I don't know. How to get more gas. Alright, let's get this part done. Alright, well, she didn't take it all, but she might take that. Ooh, do I need it, though? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to the steel. I mean, we got 11,000, so... Should be okay, I think, for the next... I don't think there's anything... Oh, I thought there for a second I saw the, uh... The workbench. Nope, coming up dry, though. Super corn recipe, which we've already got, but... Not a whole lot here. Oh, that dog is dying again. Damn. You know what? I think before this series is out, if I remember, I'm gonna have to stop there. Give him a proper burial. Alright, here we are back home. Yeah, see, once that's painted, I don't think that's gonna look too bad overhanging like that. Alrighty. We don't have any extra gas, right? No? Okay, cool. Alright, well, let's get inside. Still got a bunch of work to do before we can go down to the wasteland. I'm gonna work on this house tonight, and then I'll probably just come back. Ah, it's still a fair bit of work. I mean, I want to get this all sorted. I, want, I got to get this these holes all sorted. So let me go ahead and do that a bit. And then when I come back, we should have most of this stuff kind of done. It is day 71. I've done a lot of work to our old house. I just decided to come back. Uh, I was actually just out selling some stuff to Hugh and Jen. Because I wanted to check out... Uh, if they had schematics and stuff. And I came back to the old horde base just to see it. I'm pretty sure we didn't leave anything here. But I came back to... I don't know how many zombies here. They're just like... All over the place. Thank goodness, goodness Feral Sense is still off. So, yeah, it's been quite a few days. Like, in-game days. Uh, since I recorded. Uh, but as far as... Like, I've been playing continuously just because I want to get this place like our place built so this one is like completely screwed but our new base is pretty much there I don't the only thing I don't have done is the carport I need to get that done that's the only thing that we're missing look at this these guys are glad to see me. I'm glad we moved out of here. Look how freaking laggy this is. As long as I'm not looking downtown, I'm good. So, yeah, so like Master Farmer is the only thing that we need now. So hopefully uh, we can get enough skill points to get that mastered out. I'd love to have Completionist done. Uh, and we probably will once the next two hordes are finished. Like, that should be no problem, I think. We have most of the skills already. Ow! Damn it! Taking advantage of the lag, I see. I think we did take everything from here. But I can't remember if I left some oh shit stuff behind. So I decided against going to the desert to get uh, oil shell. 
instead I've decided to, to go with wrenching cards and stuff. It just, for me, it just seemed a little more fair. Because, I mean, you guys missed a whole, a whole bunch of stuff of me building in that. And it's just because, like, it's just going to be... Like, I don't find it all that exciting when I watch other people building. I mean, maybe you would, but... Um, you know, it's just a lot of me going back and forth and... You know, making sure... You know, the painting was done and all kinds of stuff. So it's pretty much done. Like the inside was all um, completed. I've got everything kind of loaded out how I wanted it all. We were only missing a couple of things, which I managed to take care of. So uh, the one thing we do need to finish up, though, is like I said, we've got to get an entranceway into and out of it for the vehicles. So there it is there. There's helicopters on the roof. We got a helipad and everything ready to go. So I mean it's not much. Like I mean we I haven't fixed the one corner yet. That needs to be done. There's some broken glass up there. It's not a big deal. But this part here is all finished. Let's actually just pick this bike up. Uh, I'm not gonna refuel it, but I'm gonna put the I'm probably gonna I don't know. We'll probably take the marauder with us. But that's all done. Oh yeah, I did need the oil shell for this though, didn't I? You know, so that's all done. We got a balcony on the second floor, balcony on, kind of a balcony on the first that floor there. That's when we get zombies, we can run out there and, and fight them. All right, so, I mean, it's looking all right. Let's kill these zombies here before we go inside. I killed most of them before I left, hoping there would be nothing here when I came back. And it's pretty quiet, which is nice. Yeah, it's, the difference between this base and the other one with frame rate is ridiculous. So... Like I said, my next series, I'm going to have towns like this with no city center. As much as the city buildings are kind of nice, uh, with cities like this, I think, with the downtown cores being wasteland, should make it interesting. It'll be a lot more difficult anyway, so... Like, we can only go to the outskirts and do stuff. Alright, so this, these doors you got to manually open. Light switch is off. Let's turn that... Wait, why is that? Oh, yeah, on. Sorry, so we need to go to the second floor. So this is the first floor, or I guess technically the second floor. We got our two stoves. This is all the stuff that needs to be cooked into stuff here. This is all the food that we've got, food and food and drink that's already been pre-made. We don't really have a lot because, like, I don't really need a lot. <laughs> Even though I have, I still haven't taken any... Uh, I haven't taken... Um, any in iron gut at all yet? Oh yeah, the one thing I did pick up was... Where are you here? We needed this. So that can go on there. So this is all the canned food. This is all our medical supplies. That stuff can go in there. Which we've got lots of. I just did a little bit of work on here to make it kind of look interesting. we got some lights here. i, I got to go turn on the, uh, the generator. Now I put the generator... I did a bit of work up here too, so I put this out here. Let's uh, get a bit of gas in there, turn that on. So all the lights should come on now, yeah, nice. We can turn this off. So we got these lights up here. Kind of gives it nice atmospheric lighting. We got the same light in there, right? Nice little bit of atmospheric lighting. This is just so that we can come out and look down and see if there's anybody down there, right? We can see if anybody's at this door. All the uh, generic workbenches are in here, and then we've got the lathe in here. All my uh, important stuff is mostly along the inside wall here. These are easy to make, but I put them on the outside walls here. This is all open so we can kind of come out and look down if we had to. Let's go deal with the zombies outside though. I think I should put a light in here. Actually, I want to see what the light in here looks like. Yeah, I like these little little uh, recessed lights. The lighting is really nice, you know? Fusion Forge is in there. I probably should change that door. I'm going to put one of those recessed lights up in here and probably in here too. But that's what I got here. I'm planning on putting a table there. And then we've got two recessed lights in the kitchen to kind of give it some nice atmospheric lighting. i got to work on this still. I might add a few more of those here. All right, you guys, where are you? 
At least they can't get inside now. Yeah, so that's... those there, those are concrete. Oi. Those are glass. But they're high enough up that I don't have to worry about them getting broken. We've been in here the whole time and they haven't gotten broken. So there, those two are glass as well. I gotta take this out still. This is the door we need to put in. That there and that there have been replaced with concrete. I thought there was somebody else down here. Yeah, that's concrete, that's concrete. This was metal, but then the, the zombies decided to break through this, so now it's like, that's all concrete. Guess that's it. There's still some shamblers. I'm gonna go inside. So yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good with the lighting. You know, we come home and it's nice and dark. That little light right here is really nice too with this door. It's, that's an interesting bug, but whatever. Oh, you know what that is? I forgot to angle the motion sensor. I set up a motion sensor here. Come on. So let's do it like... Like that, I guess. Power delay instant, power duration, triggered. Let's just make it 15 seconds. So when it gets triggered, it's up for 15 seconds and then it'll shut itself off. Nice. So let's go downstairs. I need this. I need my wire tool. And we've got the junction boxes. They should be done now. There we go. Now i got to figure out how I'm going to run these. So from there... Probably to in here. I gotta be able to reach it. Actually, I will be able to. We can put one there. And probably the second one. There. I didn't bring any concrete and concrete so I should be able to run it from this junction box to this one and that one should reach that one yep and then you oops I gotta get a uh, motion sensor and some concrete blocks and the paint yeah, I went a little overkill on the paint. I thought I had a... I thought I didn't think I had... I was going to be making that much. But apparently I did. So... Oh, hey, you. I wish I could beat you to death with this concrete block, but apparently I can't. So, yeah, you run. Okay, now we can just take these out. And put in a U. Not particularly there, but that's fine. And texture picker, all sides. Let's do it that way. And then let's put U. There. So I gotta go from there to there and then from there to there. So I can go. Go from here to there. I should put a light out here though. And I gotta figure out how to get. Oh. 
That was easy. Didn't realize I could pick that up, but okay. And we'll put you back down. And then go from there to there. So power duration triggered. Eight seconds probably would be enough. And we'll go like, so as soon as I'm on the ramp. Oh, but you know what we need to do? I gotta put one on the inside too. Oh, for, you're not a wandering horde. You just decided to be like, show up here all of a sudden. Yeah, it must be the daily spawns. They probably just like populate it right in my area. Ah, you're stuck in there. I should throw a Molotov at you. This is what they've been doing all night too. They'll just show up and then start banging on my truck. I don't know what's worse, having this, like, there's like lots of zombies in the city and I get that. But I don't know if it's worse to, that they just come after you, why is that not hitting? Worse that they come after you with feral sense on, so they all show up and try and kill you, or if they're just kind of hovering on the outside and you leave them alone, and then when you go to go to do something, they just slowly begin to trickle in one at a time, and then you're constantly having to come back down. I don't know. Don't know which one's worse. All right, I need another motion sensor for the inside. Which means I need to loop it through the other one, if I remember correctly. I only got like 64 blocks. Get those started. Um, right. So the second sensor should be right here. But it has to go before the door, right? Uh... We power this guy, and that guy goes to this guy, and then the door. Where's my door? Right there. Shit, that was stupid. Now I can't uh, get in. Alright, now I can do this. So power duration triggered. So that's instantly opened up when it sees you. And how long it stays open for. I'm gonna set it for two seconds currently because Yeah, we want it like right there. Yeah, so it won't stay open for very long. Let's take the stairs out. I'm going to cheat this one. God, they never stop. I should have just turned the zombies off. Whatever. All right, so uh, my blocks now. Bring these guys down. What I want to do 
is build up our driveway here. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. We can do, ah, oh, fuck, I keep damaging it. We can turn that off. So now I can walk around and not have it go off. That makes sense. See, I'll figure it out eventually. Um, that. Okay, so for here, run out of blocks again. We'll just do that. We'll take this out. That. Same thing there. Now I can't extend it out here on this side. What we can do though is do... Uh, let's get some stairs in here. Two. One, two. And then in order to cover up that other piece, we'll do... Stairs with st stairs, stairs with a railing, like that. So I like these ones better, I think. Although they're not technically correct. So I think these are for wooden railings. Right, we can drive the vehicle and park it right here. Actually, let's go all the way across here. Yeah, then we can drive it all the way in. I gotta get it way up here. But let's do something interesting. So go shape. We want to grab... Like just some kind of wedge plates that we can get up on. So this guy, and then we do advanced. Like that. And then shape, we grab the opposite one. I think if we copy the shape of that guy, oops, that guy, it should be, it's not right. Oh, there we go. I like that. You know, at least it's not like a regular flat block. It looks a little bit more like it belongs there. Well, not really, but I mean, you know what I mean. Alright, now the lighting for inside. Let's finish that up. We gotta get lights in here. I think I want to use... We got four. Now we want to use these guys. Like that and like that. And I want to use one of these guys in here. And one of these guys in here. So power now on the upper floor. Where is... Here we go. Runs from this one. So that should light that up. It's kind of nice looking. Lag spike. Probably going to get a wandering horde. And then we've got to run the power from this guy. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. It just adds that little splash lighting, you know? Although I think these guys need to come over one. Okay, I can just pick these up, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's them moved over one more. That feels a little more balanced to me now. Yeah, I mean, I love these for the atmosphere. Like, they're just really atmospherically pleasing like I got two in the kitchen they disappear too like at, like when you're at a certain distance it's kind of nice that works okay for there that's nice in here 
you know it's nice in there these I mean working lights right what do you do working lights Okay, nothing going on in there right we were making the junk turrets all right let's see what we can make out of these guys so if I go 271s gives me a 78 yeah we should be able to easily get an 80 yeah there we go and then two more what's the lowest one 47 it gives us one this should do it there we go two level 80 turrets okay well we got some good stuff so um, modify you armor shredder that guy clip extender that's the primary and then I think we've got ooh, we need to put the rad remover in there too I've got another cripple of mod in here do I no I thought I did I thought I did you have another rod and spring though and why are these in there Uh, okay. Where are you? So we need to put you in. Wait, you don't take the, uh, oh, that's the rechargeable battery. There's the laser battery there. Cripple them can go on the end. You need to move up, though. Yeah, like that. So that's doing 20 without darts. And with darts in. Got 187 rounds, about the same as we had last time. 78. Oh man, these things are going to shred. Alright, let's modify you. With the rest of the stuff so armor shredder plus metal we don't have everything but that's fine get you loaded oh i guess we have to do this now we should have more dart ammo in here now there we go we're gonna grab everything we're gonna need to go to fight this horde in the wasteland. It's going to be brutal. I wonder if I should do that last. No, you know what? I don't know. We, we haven't explored the rest of the wasteland. So we'll go do that. Find the city that we're going to do the fight in and then just handle the fight. I don't think we need to take... Like, we're not going to take... like any building blocks like we might I don't even think we need frames honestly I mean I'll take them but I, I can't see us needing them down there all right let's just whip over to the horde base real fast here so as far as I remember we're pretty much ready here we repaired everything really you're gonna test me today Man, I swear to God. And if I don't kill these guys, you know damn well they're going to hear me. Alright, um... Yeah, we did all the repairs here already. So other than updating with, with our new steel that we have, which isn't a whole lot, we should be good to go. Okay, now, um, what do I have in here? Nothing. Okay, let's take all of the stuff back with us. And we're going to get it updated as best we can. Those are fine. Actually, probably should update these too. Uh, this stuff all stays here. That stays here. Ooh, I'm going to want to take a bunch of this with me though. Recog? Probably. 
Uh, although I think I have recog at home. I'm going to take half of this with me. I can use these at home. I can use these at home. I got to get these set up before next horde night. Um, take all of that. All of that. Cryo grenades? It just basically slows the zombies down, right? That's all it's doing. Um... We need you for sure. Actually, I gotta leave. I gotta leave that here at least for the turrets. Oh shit, I gotta make a bunch of 762. So I gotta make gunpowder, I gotta make 762. Looks like somebody left their lunch bag here. I could open it. Ah. A couple of gimp masks. Well, well, there's the Wandering Horde for the day. Let's just get the hell away from those guys. But, uh, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.